Hey all, thanks for spending time with me today. In this video, I will be printing the Lucky 13 printable jointed figure by Superzone on printables, where I downloaded the file from. I will be showing you the disassembly of all the parts, the building of the figure itself, and at the end, as always, a nice animation slash glamour shot video. Carry on. So right now I'm deciding to take apart the armature or the bones of the figure. I printed this on a raft just because I didn't trust my printer to do it smoothly without it. Um, they came off really easily. I uh, flexed in a pull and they came off nice and smoothly. Uh, I decided to use the red color as red is my favorite color. And yeah, we'll continue. Now these are the hands that come with the figure. They come in various poses from open hand, closed hand, straight palm, close hand with a hole in it to attach swords and other weapons. These once again were printed on the raft and came off really smoothly and easily. Um, just a quick tug and off they come. Um, well I'll say that but this one was a bit tough so I moved them to the next one. And yeah, went back to it just to prove my strength. Um, yeah. As you can see, they came off really nicely. I did print these all at 0.15 layer height at 120 millimeters per second using PLA plus. Now this is the skin or the armor for the figure. Once again, printed in white. Should have done it in another color as you will see later on. But yeah, once again, just like the others, printed on a raft, came off really easily and smoothly. If anything, these were the easiest ones to pop off. And yeah, we'll carry on. Now that's all the parts printed and taken off the raft, it's time to move on to the assembly and get this figure built so we can move on to the nice animation slash glamour shots. So as I'm clipping off all the supports using my snippers, 
this bit was quite tedious. I've sped this video up to literally eight times of speed just because no one really wants to watch me clip and snip. I don't mind the videos, but you do. Let me know in the comments. Um, some bits were easier than others. As you can see with this closed palm with the hole in the middle, there were tiny little gaps where a little bit of stringing or just a little bit of you know, filament boogers were hanging around. But the rest of it did go quite smoothly. It was just simply clipping off the pre-supported model and yeah, just clean up of really. So right now I'm attaching the neck piece to the figure's head. It's a squeeze and a pull. Sorry for the bad camera work. I thought I had this in frame, but obviously never. Um, this was quite tricky to put in just in terms of fit. I pushed and squeezed and I've now got the end of the table and I'm about to hammer it with my hand. As you can see the shaking probably wasn't the best thing to do, but hey ho, it's in. Now I'm moving on to the figure's neck. Now this is about to get really silly of me. Once again, I'm putting a piece together and bearing in mind, I have built this figure twice before. So I know the tolerances and I know how tight it could be, but I got impatient. So I thought, yeah, you're about to see. Now remember before when I said that stupid mistake, if you look at the neck piece at the bottom right corner, you can see there's now a hole in it because I used a hammer and a thin screwdriver to push it in, force it into place. I guess lessons learned for next time, eh? Now as I'm building this robot, like I said, I've done this plenty of times before, but yeah, I'm still using the instructions. This is the body of the robot. I looked around for pieces prior making sure I've got the right fit this bit was actually quite not difficult at all if I'm being honest it was just looking for the pieces snapping into place I knew already where they needed to go just use the instructions to double check um, surprisingly this bit went on quite smoothly usually I struggle with this part of the build but it's only the beginning but I always find I have to put so much effort just to get this on um, and yeah, as you can see, it was a nice little push and squeezed on really nicely. Um, same with this piece as well. Normally, I find myself struggling to get this on, where I'm going to snap or break it. I don't know if it's because I'm using a new filament, um, filament PLA Plus by Sunlu, uh, but not sponsored or anything by this video. But yeah, just a new filament, probably working better. Um, now I'm trying to arrange them on the side, trying to make it all pretty and neat for this video. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I thought my whole city was just kidding me not to have it there in one side. Um, now I'm looking for the other pieces to move on to the build. As you can notice, it's at the bottom, you can see these fork shaped pieces. There are very slight variations of them, where the top bit has a straighter sort of hexagonal part to it and the other bits are just sort of completely rounded um, it's really hard to see in the video and I messed up as you will see later on in this video because I will have to swap some bits out because I didn't know it was a mistake from this point onwards <laughs>
so now I'm adding or creating the arms for the figure um, once again another simple build just following the instructions clipping the shoulder bits forearm and bicep parts and adding the skin slash arm to them um, they clipped in really easily similar to the other pieces only issue I found was the actual orientation even though I've done this before and I'm looking at the instructions I'm still messing about and as you can see I'm trying to take it off because I realized I put it on the wrong way around so now I'm deciding what hand to put on I'm putting on the hand faceplate and realizing that it's white doesn't really make a difference that's what I was saying before earlier in the video should have printed it a different color also I couldn't fit them in and I just couldn't be bothered to continue with using it so not only was it the same color just couldn't be able to fit it in now I'm gonna attach the arms and the hands and then attach that to the body of the figure um deciding which hand to choose for I go with the closed fist with the open hole just in case I want to add a sword or some sort of weapon later on which I will do this clicked in clipped in no issues at all whatsoever Now that both arms are attached to the upper torso, it's time on to move to the mid region and the legs. Once we've completed that, figure should be done. So now let's find the parts. As you can see or not see, I am looking for which pieces to find. Just posing the figure, trying to make it look nice. Just making sure all the joints are moving. And yeah, now I'm looking for the pieces. In this part, I am now assembling the legs. It's pretty straightforward. I'll let the music continue to play while you watch it. But I will know at the end, you'll see that I've only attached one clip to the foot because somehow I lost the other piece and I had to wait a day to print it as I was using a printer to print other projects, which you will see in later videos. So yeah, just know that this build should have been done in like a couple of hours, but it actually took almost a day because I forgot to print one piece or I couldn't find it.
Now we're at the end of the road, all the pieces are assembled. It's time to put this figure together. Um, putting the legs to the ankles to the feet, and now I'm putting the hip joint to the legs. Um, looking pretty fly myself. Now I'm attaching the mid region to each other, so the mid torso, the upper torso. There's a little bit sticking out, which is to attach like a gimbal slash pole if you're in a poster figure in the air. Now that's attached all together. This bit took a bit of force, clipped in and pushed. Poor Robert, hope I didn't hurt it. But yeah, there we are. All the joints are moving smoothly. Let's move on to the animation slash glamour shots. Here we go. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and follow me on my social media, TikTok and Instagram. Catch you next time. Sweet baby G!